a very popular application for drones is shooting real estate videos. Here are my top five moves for shooting better real estate videos. Hi, I'm Grant and the drone has been a valuable piece of my kit for shooting real estate videos. The following video or the following part of this video is an excerpt from my course which I've just released on how to shoot real estate videos and this particular part is dealing with drones and the five most common drone moves that I use. Five drone moves for shooting real estate. I've talked a lot about drones in this course and as mentioned in the real world shoot chapter, one of my main or best bits of advice for shooting drone is to know exactly what sort of shot you're going to get or want to get before you put the drone up in the air. Drones currently have a fairly limited battery time once you're up in the air, so it is always best to know where exactly you want to shoot and what sort of shot you want to get before you launch. Drone shooting is so relatively new that the type of shots or style of shots you can get with a drone don't really have any formal or technical names that I know of. So I thought I'd make up my own names for these style and types of drone shots and I have named them after native New Zealand birds. If these names ever take off and catch on, remember you heard it here first. So with that in mind, here is my top five drone moves that I use in order of preference. Number one, the kakapo or forward reveal. This is your drone bread and butter shot and is generally the big hero wide shot whilst tracking towards your subject or point of interest. I will just about always try and use some foreground movement to help reveal the property and this is generally a wider shot to show where your property sits in the landscape. The kakapo, for those of you wondering, is a large endangered parrot found in the very south of New Zealand. Next up in order of preference is the takahi or the slide and pan shot. This is a slider style of shot whilst panning with the property. Of all the shots to do, this is the toughest to do smoothly and takes a bit of practice with your drone. Number three, the falcon or tight slide. This is a tighter reveal or slider style shot in closer to your property. This shot can be a reveal and is generally a lot closer in than your first wider shot or the kakapo shot. Number four, the tui or crane up reveal. This shot is an upward style shot, usually with a little forward movement and I often use these to reveal the view from the property. Number five, the Kia or track away shot. This shot is a large wide shot tracking away from the property and it's almost a, re a reverse shot of the kakapo or the first shot we talked about. I'll often use this as the last shot of my videos before cutting to the final graphic. The Kia by the way is actually an alpine mountain parrot that lives in the mountains here in New Zealand. These are generally my top five drone shots and I will just about always try and shoot a kakapo, a takahi, a New Zealand falcon, a tui and a Kia for each property that I shoot. Those are not the only shots by any means, but those are the five shots that I try and tick off with each real estate property that I shoot. There's plenty of other variations that different drone operators use and for different styles of properties, but have a mental checklist and see if you can come up with your own names better than those ones. I hope you found that useful and if you are interested in my how to shoot real estate video course I'll put a link here in the video and in the description below and as always thanks for your time and happy shooting.